So you guys have seen the shortest map ever, but how about the longest map ever? It's so long that balloons will never escape. And while that's what the map we have here is called, No Escape, some of you guys might remember this from BTD5. And this time we have a remastered version of the map, coming with some integrated billboard ads it seems. Gee, I wonder how much it costs to get an ad put on there. Well anyway, since we can't lose with this map, I figured the best way to uh, give myself a challenge would be uh, just to see how quickly I can beat this map using a race mod. That's why you'll see a button on the bottom right corner. That basically allows me to send every round at once, and yeah, we're gonna see how quickly we can do 1 to 100, okay? Going with Sada here because she has the Olympic Sword ability that pops many balloons, and uh, I want to pop many balloons to start off. So 3, 2, 1... Uh, Let's go. Send all rounds out. Actually, not all rounds. You actually only want to go up to round 80. Because otherwise, you get super scrams and then you, you make way less money from them. From my experience in playing races. So, we'll sell Sada once the Leaping Sword times out. So that we can get a new refresh on it, if that makes any sense. Also, you can see the timer in the top right corner. See how long this is going to take. Let's get another Leaping Sword off and then I'm gonna go for Recursive as you can see. And then after Recursive, probably uh, Maelstrom. Into Super Maelstrom. You just want to do like the uh, typical race towers, I guess. No restrictions for this one, just as a uh, first run. Let's sell for Recursive now. Awesome. Definitely want to out buff it. Just to be safe, I'll, get, I'll go for a second Recursive. Before Maelstrom. Just because the thing with Maelstrom is, uh, I didn't want to go for it first because it can't pop Light Balloon, so the Blades will probably get cock blocked. You know what I mean? You know, maybe it might have been a better idea to go for a farm first, like after Sada. Because I feel like the money game is uh, coming in really slowly. But again, that's kind of what happens in the races. We do multiple runs to see how quickly we can uh, improve on our first run, so... Okay, I got the mail off. Now I need to sell every tower for S-Mail. Come on. Can I click? Bro! I didn't mean to click that. <laughs> the game was so laggy that... I was trying to sell my my recursive, but then it sold the mails from instead. God damn. Okay, I guess the plan is not to sell then. I'll just buy it, uh, S mail without selling. All right, got it. There we go. Okay. So now I need some camo detection, right? Okay, not gonna lie, I have no idea if I can, if I can even continue this run. It is so bad. So the plan is, if I get enough money, to go for a spirit of the forest. But if I'm doing the math. I need a little bit more than this amount of money. I don't see a way out of this because it'll just create more lag. Actually, I guess I could just send out 81. I actually pressed the send around button 10 seconds ago, but the game is so laggy that it hasn't even registered me sending the next round. Oh, I actually think the game's getting worse because of the Rego farms. I forgot about that. Okay, almost there, guys. I need to sell one more tower. And then I got it. 35k, click. Give Spirit of the Forest now. All right, I clicked it, and uh, I feel like the game is gonna crash. Well, now we win, I guess. Uh, if you look at, take a look at this, holy crap! Look how much damage the uh, Spirit of the Forest is getting per frame. I think it's going up six thousand. But hopefully, in a couple seconds, we can kill off the Rigo farms and actually get some frame rate back. Yeah, take a look at this. I'm making a hundred dollars, but I'm popping eight thousand, ten thousand balloons per tick. That means, yeah, we must have Rigo farmed like terribly. Alright, two minutes later, I can definitely see the FPS improvement. Also, yeah, yeah, that's perfect. Let's go for Hearthorns too. Okay. Yes, 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 beautiful. Okay, now we can actually send out all 100 rounds. So here we go, round 100. You also might notice that the vines are very densely stacked for the Spear of the Forest. The reason for that is because, of course, uh, the game just goes, or the, the map just goes in a loop. Like, many, many times, so... It's just dropping stacks upon stacks of vines, and I feel like using the vine attack might be a little bit broken. Just for the record, this map actually isn't infinite. Also, I sent 103 rounds by accident, ignore that. But this map actually exits at some point. It just takes uh, 50 to 100 loops or so. Let me just go ahead and ground zero once more for DTs here. And do I dare use the vine attack? Not until all blooms are out first. Yeah, this one I'm just going for one shots. Okay, there we go. Use GZ and let's just use the vine now. And that should, because it's so tense. One shot everything, and there it is. It took us uh, four minutes and forty seconds to beat that. Not that great for a first run, but can you blame me? The game was almost unplayable. 
Okay, now for run two. I will still say that all hands are on deck in terms of tower restrictions. So I can still use Fear of the Forest and the Broken Towers. But let's try a different strategy that may not cause as much lag. So let's go ahead and send, like, let's say 27 rounds out first. I want to make enough money to afford a farm, okay? That's all. So not everything yet. Let's use the ability now. And then let me sell Sada now. And yep, now we're going to start sending more rounds out with the power of the farm. So, 80 rounds now. So, we're basically just going to use farms and only farms, okay? To afford a Spear of the Forest. And maybe that's faster than doing recursives. I guess there's only one way to find out. Yeah, I guess I'll send round 100. Why not? How much of these do I actually need to afford Spear of the Forest? I'll go for a bit more than this. Maybe six more places. There's 100 rounds. And let's see. Spear of the Forest in... Now, sell, sell, sell. Oh, huh, that was easy. <laughs> That's all we need to do, folks. And then now, let's go, just go for the ground zero, or Sarvama, to clear things as quickly as possible. Actually, hang on. Oh, I'm making money so quickly, thanks to the $1,000 at the end of the round. Okay. Actually, we should do the following. Preempt the strike. And first strikes. Since I have so much money, thanks to the farms. All right. Uh, how come that didn't do any damage to the bad? Okay, now it did. Just do a bit of barber cell action. Because that is the hardest thing. And just like that, I think we just shaved off an insane amount of rounds, guys. Let me just wait for every bloom to spawn out and then activate the vine ability. Now. And I think that's game. <laughs> yep. Hey, a sub two minutes, guys. And literally the only difference here is I added farms. Wow, that was so much more easy. Okay, now that we have established the other forces to be unbroken, I went ahead and disabled it. But that's the only restriction because that's the only thing that has truly infinite pierce. Other things like uh, Anti Bloom and Ground Zero, they actually do have a pierce limit of like a couple thousand or so. So let's do this again. And this time, you might notice that, yes, we're not doing around 100, but 200. Because you don't normally see around 200 races. So I figure uh, that might be pretty spicy. I, think, I feel like the strategy might be similar. Just farm, but. I don't know, we'll see exactly what's gonna end up happening if I do the following. I'll put Sodom close. There it is. Uh, farm now. I could just go ahead and send two, all 200 rounds right now, to be honest, but maybe I'm worried about lag, so maybe we'll just do 100 rounds. There we go. There's 100, as usual. So let me just go, actually go ahead and pause, because I'm not sure what I want to do. If I don't have the infinite pierce of the Spear of the Forest. Actually, here's an idea. How about a Glue Storm? Because that might get the uh, balloons popped, if that makes any sense. And then I can make some insane money from that. Let me just buy this first. There we go. I press the button. I should go for a uh, Ground Zero now, I guess. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go for it. Come on. Let's send 110 rounds out. And then let me sell a farm. So you get the Sarbama. And then, damn, 2 million pops. Epic. And then I'll just keep Barbara selling the Sarbama. Let's do 120 rounds. Holy crap, I just got 100k from that. Alright, here's another Sarbama. Made another $30,000. Uh, I think I should go for an anti balloon because that also uh, has a huge amount of pierce. And does damage, too. Popping balloons. Sar so now. I just got 90k. Let's end up to 140 rounds now. Wait for it. 150, actually. 151. And I believe just did 8 million damage. Screw it, I'm fine, we're selling it. Alright, might as well send all 200 out at this point, because it feels like we're doing just fine. So, I'll do that, and then I'll anti balloon. Wait for it. 29, 199, and 100. 200. Alright, that did 13 million. Is there anything else I'm missing, ladies and gents? Probably a Paragon, if I'm being honest, right? Yeah, yeah, for sure, for sure, yeah. Because, obviously, this amount of damage won't do anything to bads. So, okay, should I go for a Dark Paragon, then, or a Boat Paragon? I feel like there's too many bads to use Boat Paragon. Way too many. So, it's gotta be Degree 30 Dart. And Fan Club, uh, I need so much money. I'll do one more Anti Balloon ability, just to see how much I make from this. We're currently three minutes in. Oh yeah, I'm not making much money from this point. You saw, I only went up like 10, 20k, but I did like a lot of a lot of damage. But yeah, as you see, this is no longer as cheesy as it used to be, and uh, 
Hopefully this doesn't end up being as laggy as uh, my first run, but it looks like it's getting it's coming towards that point. I need to go for the the Paragon now. Hang on. All right, let's get it. Let's get it. All right, there's degree 30, and what now? Do we just let it just do damage? Dark Paragon doing like 300k every time it shoots out. I don't know if that's enough though. Yeah, I don't know what to do at this point. Maybe I should have gone for a true Sun God instead. Because it feels like that might do a little more damage than what this guy's currently doing, you know? Is it too late to start building a true Sun God? Well, I feel like I should have done that before the game got too laggy. Because right now, balloons are still coming in. You know, before the game blows up on me, that would be nice. Okay, it looks like every balloon is spawned though, so... Hopefully, that means no more lag, or less lag. Not gonna lie, I kinda wish I had a little bit more money to work with, because I actually can't afford to choose Sun Guide. Maybe I need, I need to make a new run here, because this is pretty bad. We legit have zero damage done to the bat so far. I think we, we, I think we just have to restart. Alright, we're finally getting some frame rate back, but this might be too little too late. We're already 10 minutes in. Okay, we are now nearing 690 seconds. Uh, Pop count of the uh, Dark Paragon is almost at 300 million. Hey, we're actually doing some damage to the bats now. You know what, though? I think this money's coming in too slowly. I think we're better off just restarting and uh, affording the eventual TSG as quickly as, as possible. Because, yeah, legitimately, I don't think I farmed hard enough. I still need to buy my Legend of the Night to afford my uh, TSG and save 200k. Because this only sells for 300,000. So on that note, unfortunately, we're going to have to start from scratch again. Okay, maybe this time we won't be as aggressive with the round settings so that we can uh, get as many farms as possible before sending out the uh, super dense rounds out. Like, for example, uh, there's a farm. I'm only going to slowly send some rounds out. I'll go for a tall path farm here because I guess a banana central is worth it. It's more efficient. It just requires me to manually collect some stuff. Yeah, okay, I think here's the play. We'll go up to 100 rounds. Like this. And we will go for the ground zero only now. I do want to put it under range of a village, though. Hang on. How do I find space for this? So what I'm looking for is to make extra money when I use the GZ ability with Monkey Town. This is a broken combo, guys. Trust me. It's not like this. I'll send a couple more rounds out just to make money faster from the farms. Come on. Once I get that, I can go for a Banana Central and uh, anything I want in the world. Alright, watch this guy. How much money do I make from it? 4,000 to 124. Yep. That's what I call Broken Folk. So there it is. Beast Central. Wall Street. And let's do it again. If I can fit it. That is. There we go. Found it. Let's do Star again. Let's make some fat end around cash. Holy crap. 400,000? You just saw there? Man, that is beyond broken. Okay, let's uh get everything up to this. Let's go for a Super Monkey over here. This one I won't bother with, so I guess. I'll keep it around. So, Anti Balloon. Bam. Even more money over there. And yeah, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> now we should be able to afford a Vengeful Truce on God. We'll go up to 140 rounds now. Like that. Here's another star that I'll keep on Barbara selling. Although, actually, maybe I should drop a makeshift Paragon, because it feels like it, it's it's a good, like, uh, in-between, before I actually get the eventual up, because it it takes so much setup, set, set up time. So, sure. I think I have enough money for both, to be honest. So, let's do it. Degree 30. And, yeah, we'll be conservative in the round sending. So, only up to 150 now. So, here's a temple. I mean, I, I may be a little too conservative in the round sending. Let's go up to 169. All right, another anti balloon ability to clear some clump. It is starting to get laggy, so we'll only go up to 172. Feel like I definitely should send uh, rounds out faster, though. Money is there, so let's hope I didn't mess up. Because uh, I can't restart this, guys. Well, I could sell it, but uh, that would make things a lot slower. So please, turn vengeful. And let's finally go to 200 rounds now. And I messed up, guys. I'm bad. I am certified garbage at this game. Well, uh... I guess we'll go for another Paragon then, I don't know. Well, somebody in the replay, I guess, can tell me which category I didn't sacrifice. I think it was support, actually. I only sacrificed the XXXL, which is not 50k. Ah. Well, this is fine.png. I think since we have so much money, I should just go for an Ace Paragon. The strongest of them all. So, let me just first, uh, 
Hang on, what I should do first is get, definitely get as many pops as possible on the towers. That means keeping the Starbama. Yeah, that means I don't have to drop all the other mini tier 4s, because I already have 16 million pops, I think, from the Starbama. Let's just check. Yeah, 20 million. Okay, this is going to be a massive degree paragon. All right, let me just go ahead and sell the Wasp Reed, too. I just want to get it as soon as possible. All right, got it. Go, go, go. We are currently 8 minutes elapsed. Degree 70. Pretty epic. And I will do Center Path, yes. Center Path is perfect for a map like this. And honestly, I hope that's enough. Looks like it's doing like 3 million DPS. This True Sun God is actually really bad, but that's because I didn't give any any buffs yet. Like, we're still missing 10x Overclock Snacks, which I obviously can't get all of them right now. Missing Perma Brew. So many buffs also. Make sure to drop Carp Bomb. Alright, here's another Anti Bloom. All rounds have came out, so now it's just uh, time to clean up the rest. But yeah, I think I was definitely better off rushing the uh, Goliath Doom Shooter stat. I just completely forgot that I would get an ex extremely high degree because well, I'm not used to getting 16 million pops in like less than a minute or from one ability like the Sarbama did. But yeah, here we go. Another Carb Bomb. Most of the bads are uh, nearly popped now, which is good. I might just do a couple first strikes too. Uh, target the F bats instead. Here's another Homeland. Yep, there's only two uh, F bats left. The ones that are on round 200, so... Uh, anytime now, folks. Anytime. And we will have uh, finished it off. Looks like we are just shy of sub-11 11 minutes. 661 seconds. Ah. Uh, uh, that was certainly one of the runs of all time. And honestly, not gonna lie, pretty fun. Because, again, I'm not used to playing round 200 races, so... It's kind of interesting to see all those towers pop so many balloons at once. Well, hope you enjoyed seeing me tackle the longest map ever. And again, any other crazy map ideas, do let me know. See you next time.